Rise and ground, folks. What we have here is another video. And this is a recent install 13 Sierra Duquesne unit we did in 2021. So this thing is about three years old. The customer asked, is maintenance important on a brand new system? And guys, this is the answer. I'm out here today for no AC. This contactor shorted out, and it's funny, I'm finding the same faults as previous videos, but there's an AC only air handler in the attic, and this, the, the fuse is tripped upstairs in the attic, and I know for sure we ran new wiring when we put this unit in, but guys, the only way the fuse doesn't, doesn't trip is when I put the contactor coil or put the wires on a new contactor coil. So guys, I mean, this isn't common for a brand new unit, but guys, I always use the analogy of brand new cars, a maintenance on a brand new unit. It's the same thing as you get an oil change. Like I said, insects, you're not gonna win this battle. I don't care where the unit is. It's always something that you can't see that can crawl inside this unit. And like I said, the customer won't know until after, you know, after the damage is already done. And Last thing we want, guys, is compressor issues on a unit that's like less than 10 years old. So what I got to do is pop a new contactor in. And I also spoke with the customer about renewing the maintenance agreement. And yeah, they're, they definitely see the value now, unfortunately, you know, since having a breakdown here today. But they see the value now in, in keeping this unit clean to avoid breakdowns. See you in a little bit. All right, guys, this is part two. We got our new contactor in. And guys, it's not cold, but it's not really that warm. It's only about maybe 55 degrees out. It's a pretty mild morning. But yeah, I got our new contactor in. And I'm gonna go look at the other unit. And we're gonna take a look at it. I'm pretty sure, I think the customer said that no one ever looked at this first floor unit here, but we can expect the same on the other side. And the one I looked at there was the second floor and we're going over to our first floor unit here. And I pulled the handle out the disconnect so that first floor don't get too chilly. But, Definitely. Anytime you have another heads up, guys, anytime you have a customer with equipment or well, condensers near a bunch of trees, it's best to tell them to use a cover in the in the fall or in the well fall slash winter. Whenever they're done with this unit for the summer, cover this unit because guys, twigs can fall. I'm not really concerned about leaves, but twigs can fall in this unit. And these units aren't built like tanks. What can happen is, like I said, if a good sized twig falls in this unit, it can jam up your, your condenser fan blade. And now, once the customer turns this unit on next, next spring or next summer, now they gotta deal with compressor issues and X, Y, Z. But always, guys, if you got a customer with condensers that's near a bunch of trees or twigs, well, a bunch of trees mostly, just have them uh, put a cover over this unit. And like I said, that should eliminate crazy scenarios from happening but let me open this up here and I'll be right back and boom shakalaka as you can see that looks almost just the same if not worse as the other unit on the other side and we're going to clean that up and we'll get we'll check the capacitor also check the um, contacts on the on the contactor there make sure everything is all the contacts are not pitted or or in bad shape and yeah guys i'll see you in a little bit once i get this bad boy started here all right guys this first floor unit is clean capacitor is still within range contactor is looking good i gotta go back downstairs and check that filter but yeah guys this linux unit is a 2019 model so like I said, both units are relatively new. We just put the unit in 
on the second floor around the corner there in 2021. But yeah, guys, cleanliness can go a long way. And unfortunately, you know, for the customers that don't know about it, they'll know this in the bad way here. Like I said, what they can't see will always come back to cause future issues. So if they can, definitely just have someone come out here to clean these units to make sure, like I said, nothing creeps up and causes issues down the line. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna put this door on, run this unit, and I gotta go check out the filters on the first floor unit and um, the air handler that's on the second floor. I think we put a condensate pump up there as well. I wanna make sure that that pump is working fine. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, I just got out the attic and now I'm getting ready to go inside and go over the paperwork with the customer. And once again, guys, as a recap, um, we had to replace the contact during the second floor unit, and that unit is still brand new. But like I said, insects never never lose, especially with condensers. So um, customer the customer understands, like I said, this was a, an avoidable problem but moving forward with the maintenance we should be able to avoid this from happening but yeah guys this is a simple call and moving forward we'll just take care of the maintenance here on both units so peace out i'll see you guys on the next one